Before we jump into this week's video, I wanted to point you to flagfootballwithcoachd.com. Just a quick reminder, I've got all of these resources for you. Look, I don't want to be super salesy with this stuff. You know, I'm just a, a dad who, you know, almost a decade ago was kind of thrown into this just like all of us. Um, but some popular things that most coaches are looking for are playbooks. Uh, this by far is the most popular. It basically puts all of my plays practice schedules, drills, templates uh, in one place. That one's very popular. Also, the boot camp includes the complete coach package, um, but it also has 30 exclusive videos uh, of me out on the field teaching you everything that you need to know. And then just recently, I, uh, I put together a play builder basically like a playmaker or play designer or anything else that you've ever used. Uh, you can import all of my plays or you can create your plays from scratch. Super simple to use. Check it out and uh, hopefully it gives you everything that you need to be a complete coach. And then of course, make sure that you're subscribing so you never miss a video. You know, I started with uh, my backyard, but we've got offense, defense, drills, how to coach new players, those are my kids, um, tutorials and so much more. We're over 15,000 now, so would love to have you part of the community. All right, let's jump into this week's video. Hi everyone, this is Coach D and Coach Sammy and awesome player Noah, crushing it out here in the backyard. We wanted to provide you a few new defense specific drills. Now today we're working on a couple things, guys. What are we working on? What's that? The zigzag. Zigzag. So we'll talk about the zigzag pull in the minute, but what fundamental techniques are we trying to, to get better at? Defense. Okay, defense and, and specifically what? Flags. Okay, what else? Uh, Backpedaling. Backpedaling. And shuffling. The second thing that we're going to work on, so there's two drills. One's called the zigzag pull. The second one's called the shuffle wall. And those are going to help you build your defense, a shutdown defense. So let's go ahead and show out here on the field our first one. So what we've done is we've done a zigzag formation here. So you can see the orange cones. We've got one here, another one there. Boom. You can see I've got zigzag formation right so you can spread that out nicely this is where your running back is going to run and then over here you have blue cones this is where your defense is going to start and what they're going to do is they're going to back pedal all the way to this blue cone here and then they're going to jump into this one-on-one -on -one situation right here so as your running back is going zigzag defense is doing back pedal and at this point Boom, now it's one-on-one. -on -one. All right, Noah, you start with the orange cones. Sammy's gonna go defense. Here we go. We can go full speed on this. Ready, go. Uh, 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 no holding. Boom, then the next person goes. All right, let's try one more time, switch. Switch it up, you always wanna give them the opportunity to switch. So now Noah's gonna be on defense. Sammy's going to be on offense, right? No, you're backpedaling to the, to the uh, blue cone, and then you're in one-on-one. -on -one. And what I'd say, guys, try to get in middle. So when I go here, at this point, now I go right in the middle, and I'm ready to get big. All right, let's go. Ready, go. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. All right, all right, everybody come up. All right, so what did you guys think about the drill? I liked it. Okay, and what do we like about it? Um, the flag pulling and being able to shuffle. Okay. Same. Same? <laughs> okay, all right. Do you think it's, it's something we could use out on the field? Yeah. And it, would, and it would help? All right, cool. So when you're zigzagging, you're working on your, right, your cutting, right? So you don't want to have loose cuts. So there's a lot of things that you're working on, even on the offense as well. Okay, our second drill is called the shuffle wall. The shuffle wall is all about learning how to create a wall, whether with your team or by yourself, so that no one can get past you, all right? So what we've done is we've set up five cones in a little line right across here. Now, if you have more players, you wanna do that, that's totally fine, but right now, we are all the way across our field and we have five players. So right now, let's go ahead and 
stand on one of those cones. So each player, let's say five, half your team or, or whatnot, will be on one of the cones. And then you're gonna have a running back, right? Here, and all you're gonna do is try to get through that wall, all right? And what they're gonna do the first round is it's all five of them. And then the second round is you're gonna take two away and now there's three of them. And then the final round is you only have one on one, right? So, and you can mix that up a little bit, but let me show you how it works. Ready, you go. All right, and you can, if you want, send one after another. All right, send one after another so they're just flying through. Ready, go. Okay. Now imagine, if you had five, then you had three, right? Another thing that you can add is you can have two runners coming through. But now, you've eliminated, right? And now it's one on one. Ready, go. Yeah. All right, cool. And so, everybody come on up. So now you've switched it up, and you can have now the offense go to the defense. But what did we learn on that one? <laughs> How to get big, okay? All right. Now, what if I started someone on that cone? Let's try that. Let's go on the back cone. Let's go on the back cone over here. Now you start playing with the drill a little bit. Watch this. Ready, go. All right, now Noah, you're off. Sammy, you're out to the side. Let's say that cone. Now you can even, if she's all the way on that side, and let's say I'm gonna run this way, let's see what she does. Ready, go. So now, come on over. Now you've created a completely different, like, wall here where you can work on different skills. What do we notice about that one? That last It's a lot thing? more difficult. <laughs> Why is it more difficult? Because you have to go from across the field. You do. And it also teaches them what she wants to do. If someone's running on this sideline over here and she's way over there, does she want to come at an angle this way and try to catch them where they are? No. What do you want to do? Go uh, meet them where they're going. Make, meet them where they're going. So if I'm running up this seam right here, Noah, let's say you're right here and I'm running this way. How are you going to get me if I'm running here? Run Put your up. finger there. You're just going to run across? Mm -hmm. All right, so it also teaches them that principle as well. Anything else we learned on this one? Yeah. All right, anything? Okay, cool. So we have two new drills for you. Number one, do you remember what it's called? The zigzag. The zigzag, cool, the zigzag pull. Second one was the? Shuffle wall. Shuffle wall, all to help you create a shutdown defense. All right, this is Coach D, Coach Sammy, and Noah crushing it out here in the backyard. If you like what you see, you know what to do. Go ahead and, what is it, Noah? Like, like, comment, and share. Comment, share, subscribe, all that. Yes, if you need any kind of playbooks or you want to get in the boot camp, which walks you through everything you need to be a complete coach, go to flagfootballwithcoachd.com. We've got everything there for you. We'll see you in the next video. See you guys.